out why and I've got some information for you too. So, you know, yesterday we were talking about how the European model had shifted a little more west. That is exactly what we're looking at today and I'll show you kind of the trend here. But we've got a 50% chance of development the next two days and an 80% chance the next seven days. Now, one thing I've taken a close look at this morning as I was doing my research, preparing my forecast, is the fact that uh, models actually have this uh, system with these upper level winds trending a little quicker into the Gulf. This could play in many people's favor across Florida because the quicker this moves and the more it does not stall, the less prolonged rain we're going to have. So it's something I'm really keeping a close eye on. But, uh, you know, we're all keeping an eye on these tropics. And I want you to see that all the models are pretty much in agreement for where this is going to go. Now, where it ends up, uh, most of them kind of take that turn here toward, you know, between Tampa and Jacksonville for that rainfall. But overall, yes, it's going to swing into the Gulf and it has the potential to become a tropical system, certainly. But again, the quicker it moves, if that holds true and keeps the way it's going, that would really help with some of that prolonged rain. One thing we know is a lot of rain is expected in Florida regardless. It's going to be a wet weekend and uh, we're going to keep you updated on that and so much more. But one thing I want to show you here at home before I turn it back over to Aaron is that we are under a heat advisory today as well. Shocker, right? I know we're going to have a, uh, you know, feels like temperatures in the triple digits and then of course actual temperatures in the 90s followed by, you guessed it, some showers and storms this afternoon.